Welcome to Smart Business Show for July 25th, 2018. Today, we're going to talk about something fairly serious. Um, and I've definitely said before that things have been tough uh, in work uh, in the past. Things have been tough. Um, yeah, no, numerous times, not just today, not, not, not even today, like not even just in the last number of months unnecessarily, but um, it's been tough. And, and through that time, um, We'll just maybe put trigger warning in here for some people. Um, I have certainly thought about how I would be less of a burden to my family if I wasn't here, and I wouldn't have to deal with uh, struggling and with failure if I wasn't here. And how, yeah, how even bringing it up to my wife um, would just be make me more of a burden to her, and I didn't want to do that to her, and that wasn't fair to her because she does so much already. And I even wrote it in my book, my upcoming book called uh, The Art of Focus. Uh, there'll be a link uh, in the show notes uh, so you can get it for free uh, when it comes out. Um, I wrote about it first uh, and really, I suppose, realized then like where my head had been at and where, where I was at, um, where, where I could go to if I wasn't very careful, if I didn't start to seek the help that I needed, and where... Yeah, where I, I guess, not let myself, just where I was at. Um, yeah. So now uh, the purpose of this is really to talk about three of the support systems that I now have in place uh, and have better in place because I've been honest with people, because I'm honest with my wife, because I've been honest with friends uh, about where I've been at. Um, and the first one was one that I, I've had for a while. Uh, I call it my awesome file. It's also called the awesome jar, and it's a list or a jar of all, all the the things, all the emails I've got that tell me I'm awesome, that people have liked my content, or I've helped them run a better business or something like that. That's one one thing that I had started with, um, just to let me know that I was awesome when I was having a tough day. But it's really not enough. Um, the second thing that I had to implement, uh, that I've had to implement, is being honest with my wife and telling her where I'm at, telling her that I definitely have thought, you know, when I've been up on some mountain somewhere, I was like, you know, I could just have a slip and I wouldn't have to struggle so much anymore. Um, yeah, and then also doing the same thing with friends, letting them know, letting them, giving them the freedom to check in on me, to say, yeah, you can absolutely check on on me. I will let you know how things are going and I will be honest with you. If it's a crappy day, I'll tell you it's a crappy day. And then the third, I guess the third thing is getting out without noise. So I'm wearing a set of headphones here for better audio quality. But the reality is that most of the time I'm out, uh, I've got something in my ears. I'm listening to podcasts, I'm listening to whatever. Uh, and and while I may be out in the mountains, I'm not, I guess, enjoying the experience. I'm not being present where I am. So that's changed as well. Um, I'm not always running without... Um, without something in my ears, without trying to consume or trying to push forward on something, but uh, I'm doing it much more often, um, regularly on my long runs. So if I'm running three to four hours on a Saturday, then I will shut off for an hour or two because I just don't, because I need to, because I'm not, because it lets me be present with where I'm at. And I just throw my phone in my backpack and my phone for safety, uh, throw it just in my pack as I'm running and just enjoy what's around me, enjoy the, the pain of running for four hours. 30 kilometers or 40 kilometers and that's where I'm at so that's where I've been um, and that's what finding focus or finding focus that was the original title uh, the art of focus explores um, it explores how I've been taking control of my life how I have taken control of my life uh, and definitely ends on uh, not ends but near the end uh, talk more about this about where I was at about the process I put in place to help me over the last couple months to really get back to a spot where not that I'm free uh, of everything, of the, the thoughts that go on sometimes, but to a spot where I am healthier and I have the support networks around me that I need to stay healthier, to stay around so that I can be there for my kids and be there for my family. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're struggling with with thoughts of not being there, thoughts of suicide, then you should uh, you need to get help. You need to be honest with those that love you and that you love and they so that they can be there for you. Because if you're just trying to go it alone, that's a waste of time. Not a waste of time. It's 
you can do better. You have support out there. Uh, if you are thinking about that and you're not, you don't think you have support really, then you got me. Send me an email. I'll respond. I'll get back to you with what little help that I can provide. Uh, and there also should be hotlines in your area. So call those. Um, call those if you need them. And just let people, let someone else speak into your life. Uh, don't be afraid of being open. People want to help. And someone else is there for you. And if not, then I'm there for you. So send me an email, please. My email is curtis at curtismichael.ca.